Hey, hello. Let's move you over. Yeah, no, because we want to look at that. Hey, hello, and welcome to my world. My coin hunt world, that is. So where are you in the standings to this morning? Blah. Local. Seven. All right. Told you, that seems to be my spot. Like, six, seven, eight. Let's see, globally. 402. Huh. All right. I went up a little bit. 192, all right, went up slightly. So that's interesting. I'm actually starting to pay attention to that stuff now, which it's not a bad thing. But once again, I don't like competition. I don't like that feeling of I need to beat someone because I don't care if I beat someone. I only want to hold up to what I think I am capable of doing and I'm comfortable with where I'm at so I don't have anything to talk about today game wise uh, yeah has anybody watching have and had has anybody been watching stranger things lately Um, it's the season is, yeah, the new season definitely is like the big bad this time is Vecna. Um, if you know Dungeons and Dragons, Vecna is, ooh, deer. Vecna is not deer. Vecna is far from deer. Uh... Vecna is very, very evil. A lich. A person who has gone beyond life itself to a form of un undeath. And yeah. Uh, yeah. Last, last couple seasons was the Mind Flayer. Ooh. Mind Flayers are so, like, crazy to introduce to a party. Because they're strong. You don't realize what's happening. And the next thing you know, you're under their power and control. Answer the question. Not talk to D&D. Let's try wordplay. What word means involving? I was, took too long. I was hesitating on that. Because I'm trying to read... But at least I still got a good score in her. I don't want to get a bad score. I don't want to. Not a bad score. But you know what I mean, the last score. You're still getting stuff, but you're not getting enough. Enough. So how is everybody doing with their coin hunting? Wow, there's a big truck up there on the highway. It rained last night. So it's a bit dreary today. It's a bit, meh, you know, like, meh. <sighs> but it's Dungeons and Dragons weekend. So this Sunday I get to game. Uh, I have, I wrote up a huge story for the crew. That'll be sitting at my table. I had someone new get interested in wanting to game at my table and it's not a boy it's a girl an actual female wants to sit down at our gaming table like what it is a new world we live in today no more do boys and girls have to be separated we can game and be nerds together oh what a wonderful beautiful day it is because rolling dice is so, I don't know, to me it's relaxing. <laughs> rolling dice. And I wonder, I left a question the table this Sunday. That'll be my question for them. I, If you haven't noticed, I have a lot of questions that I ask a lot of times. And my D&D &D group that sits at my table is no different. So let's answer this question. 
<laughs> Toys and games, always. Fortnite is a video game. See, Fortnite and stuff like that aren't the video games I play. Assassin's Creed, the first Assassin's Creed, I fell in love with it because of the scenery. Being able to go from area to area and finding new pieces of history, new monuments, not new monuments, they're old existing monuments. But for me, they were new at the time <clears throat> because it was a new region I didn't study before. And now I got to study that region through a game. Assassin's Creed is more my Uncharted. I like action-adventure games. The only first-person shooter, only first-person game, I hope oh, now because the original Wolfenstein 3D, I used to play that so much. When I played the remake of it many years later, I walked up to a door, not even realizing what I was doing, tapped a button on the wall, and it opened a secret door. There's just some things that are ingrained in our thinking, and we can't forget them. Wolfenstein 3D was one of them. I, I can't believe that I got wrong. Who, who, who published that? Like, that was an upsetting moment in my coin hunt world. But I'm getting ready to let you guys go. So you can get about your jaunty day and wonderful time. Get out there, hunt on. Collect that crypto. Open those vaults. Help people that need help. Go check out the Coin Hunt World wiki page. She's got this stuff on point. The young lady who's working that website. Always updating. Always working. Uh, and like I said before, and I'll say it again, like this, this website was so helpful was the coin hunt map when I was in New York City I, to be able to say oh there's a yellow vault click on it and say take me there and directions came came up and I followed it it's through I believe it's all through Google Maps and stuff like that uh, but it led me straight to the yellow vault I was able to instantly just like not worry about anything, not hoping I find it, not because it's around here. I have like maybe 10 street names I got to worry about out there. It's yeah, you're up in hundred blocks and stuff like that. Like, uh, uh, yeah, that's a little, that's a little, a little too much for my little, little town thinking to worry about so that coin hunt world map whew, whoever built that much props much props to whoever set that up I've been trying to do my areas like vaults I'm don't know I'm just trying to learn how to fully utilize it so I'm not willy nilly putting them up in the wrong spot maybe across the street from where they are so i'm trying to figure it out so go check that out and look both ways when crossing the street always uh till we talk again have fun be safe go out there and hunt that crypto and carry on everybody enjoy <laughs>